Apple has revealed the latest refresh of OS X, which looks to add further integration with iOS. Here's everything you need to know about OS X Mavericks, which is heading to desktops this autumn. The previous major release, Mountain Lion, was mostly a hit. That said, it did throw in some iOS features that didn't work particularly well, such as iCloud documents and a substandard full screen mode. Apple now looks to have fixed this by introducing multi-monitor support. The update now makes the dock and menu bar follow the user onto whichever screen they're working on, and each display can be shown individually. Mavericks has also been given the ability to wirelessly beam the desktop to an HGTV via an Apple TV box. Other features include finder tabs, which allow new tabs to be opened or dragged into other positions, and tags, which users can add to files or folders within Finder to make locating documents easier. Apple has also made some tweaks to Safari, including the way the browser handles JavaScript. Safari apparently now features smoother scrolling, is less taxing on the GPU, uses less energy and is faster than ever before. It's also received a hefty dollop of social love in the form of shared links, which collects URLs posted by Twitter and LinkedIn contacts and displays them in a single stream in the browser's sidebar. Two apps from iOS, Maps and Books, have also made their way to Mavericks. Maps features turn-by-turn -turn directions and flyover data and can also send map coordinates to iPhones with the push of a button. Notifications were a welcome addition when they were introduced in Mountain Line last year. They've now been beefed up even more by allowing users to reply to messages and answer video calls from within a notification. We'll be bringing you loads more info on Apple's WWDC 2013 announcements over the coming days, so be sure to stay tuned to techradar.com.